and welcome to the new firmware upgrade. I'm going to do this as tutorials just to go through um, on applying the update to the uh, Phantom Vision to bring up to the new version 308, which you do through here. So, what we'll do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll do the firmware on, on the, on the um, Vision, uh, the Phantom itself first. So, obviously, we'll get it powered up. So, let's just get that prepared. So, take the gimmick off, loosen it off. Always, when I power my Phantom up, um, always make sure I take the camera gimbal stuff off so it's loose because obviously this is going to want to do it so I can reset. So push the button once, press and hold, powers it up. There you go. And uh, there you go, the camera's all set so that's nice and easy. Cool. And what we'll do is we'll power on. Transmitter and the controller, so it's all on. Okay, and what we're going to do is turn the vision around, get the exposure USB port in the front. So you can guys can see that. Plug her in. Okay, I'm just going to move that out of the way so I can get that. Because in a minute I'm going to switch, I'll plug that into my USB port on my Mac, like so. And now I'm just going to go and switch to the software and we'll run through the software on the screen. I'm on my desktop now, so uh, here's my, my actual Mac desktop. So we load up the uh, Phantom 2 software, um, so we can apply the new firmware upgrade. So it's, it's, it's easy, it's quite as easy as this. So this is the software. I'm just going to change my camera's position on my so we can record what the camera is actually doing. So as you can see, it's actually um, yeah. Okay, so I just bring up the controller software. So it's obviously changed differently. Um, so we are a uh, new there we go, new firmware. So it's detected it's got a new firmware here. So three um, my current version is three point oh six. And we're going to upgrade the main control to 3.08. It's obviously running some through some features here that actually shows you what what the changes are. So if we expand this window a little bit more, open. No, it doesn't. So we can get see there. So maximum error uh, operation error based on the remaining battery power and current settings can now be displayed on the ground station map. Uh, this area expands or or contracts when the waypoint set areas are set. What else we got? Uh, there you go, that's the new controller gimbal we were was talking about, battery indicator, new gimbal controller, so I'm actually going to get my hands on this. It's about, I think it's about £80, pounds, about, about roughly about £80, pounds. so um, I'll get paid very soon, so I'm going to actually order to treat myself to one of those, and we can then do uh, a, a tutorial on that, but that looks quite cool. Battery light indicator, as you say, it looks exactly the same as your normal one, slightly different shading, looks a bit more rounded. But really looks very similar to this, 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 the original controller, but also the additional gimbal con uh, controller, battery light indicator, so light like battery charge. But nice to actually add some more pre-programmable buttons on the top here that you can actually set up and um, use. And here's the new um, blades and new motors you can get, new propulsion system they call it. So obviously it comes with an ECC module, new motors and blades, which is a good thing as well. Um, new hardware support, new control, you go home points. I haven't actually tried this home point way flying yet. I mean, don't know if you guys have. Um, please let us know in comments. It's, it's been interesting to know how you get on with this waypoint flying. So I'm not actually there tried it yet. Um, but obviously uh, I've run out of like weather conditions. So I think when I find a nice dry day, um, I'll try it out myself. Uh, I know a big field I can try it on. So I know if it's in the field, I know I can see it and get a bit more trust in it. But if you guys done this waypoint flying, please, please comment below and let us know um, how you get on and any links to videos you've done. Because on my Phantom website, I want to uh, put on there all your flying um, videos of like what you guys do and get up to. So you can share that around and stuff. That'd be quite good. And uh, and also if you guys are doing any upgrades to your Phantom, things like that. Or if you have any crashes, things like that, we can put it on our site. It'd be fun. Anyway, so there's that feature. It's all about the pre-flight home points. We'll skip this because we can read on this a bit later anyway. Um, ability to change the return to home function. This is good. A return home 100 meters. That's nice to adjust that because especially if you're out about flying, you're flying around a lot of low stuff, it'd be nice to, be, to add these features. Cause I find 100 meters 
um, it always seems to be yeah reasonably good because most of the trees are, are not as high as 100 meters but you might be around some buildings you don't want to be anywhere near especially in, in the flight because you don't know when it when it's going to lose control it's just going to come straight back because it tends to do that I was flying around a building a little while ago I got around the other side of it I could still see it but if it decided to lose control it all it would have done would have come straight back at me which then would hit the building so um and this is really good so you can actually change all the altitude settings uh, I like all these new features so these are new features anyway so let's go on with the upgrades because we can cover this a bit later anyway so here we go click on upgrades and do you really want to upgrade yes we do do not power off that's fine we're all powered on here we go so is that going to be applying upgrading please wait as you can see here the phantom bleeping away there I got my GoPro camera on the camera so you can see the lights changing and you can then see what it does so upgrade success please power cycle um, so for this point one you just press your buttons power down the phantom <coughs> she's all powered off and then we uh, click and power back on as you can hear starting up now so we go latest version 3.08 and it's going to all, all run checks oh, it's cool we didn't have this before either it's actually doing like a boot check sequence I like this this is good features it's nice to see it boot it's a bit like booting up a PC so there go, it's pine update oh, great success for C power cycle so we go power cycle again so click once click twice hold Powers off. Click once, click twice, and hold. And she's powering on. There we go through the thing. There we go. Latest, latest version, new version. Oh, we've got some new version of battery. Let's we'll see how it goes. Zemi shoes gimbal. That's good. So this is this is good. This is the name of the bits in. So you got the main controller, GPS, receiver, a P33CB battery and USB gimbal so this is the what you have in your phantom this is the loader features hardware IDs and then the firmware versions are actually currently on and this is currently the version you want to upgrade to so here we've got no updates for the receiver no nothing for the GPS so we've got latest version one of us we're on that so that's good so now we can apply that the battery one so we click new update new firmware along upgrade do not Turn off the camera by cool camera still on, it's good. So here we go, adding to that upgrading, please wait. Got red flashing lights at the moment on the Phantom. <coughs> Camera's not doing anything at most it's still, so it's the red lights flashing away there. I noticed actually you can actually change the colour of these lights on the Phantom. Um it's in a tutorial on the web for that. I'm gonna have a look at that where you can actually change the warning lights um, there's a little reset button you can do that changes the colours um, so I'm going to play with that unless I read that wrong but I'm going to have a look at it anyway so flashing red still doing upgrades this is the first time I've actually done up most of the firmware's the updates I applied so I only actually applied the actual main firmware um, but not had the little ones like the controller and the camera and stuff so it's the first time I've seen this so we're recording it anyway so you guys can have a look it's quite simple, straightforward. Make sure you've got a lot of power. Make sure that you're on a full charge battery, so you, there's no way that the Phantom will lose um, just will lose charge during the upgrade. It's the last thing you want it to do. But I think it what happens if you do apply an update and it doesn't reset right, the Phantom auto will go into an auto um, load lock or something where you, you you can plug it back in and it will pick the firmware up, so it won't actually crash and, and that's the end of it. It will actually allow you to firmware it, even if the firmware does bomb out. So it's, it's good. Okay, it's still going through. Almost there and completed. Almost done. Yeah, the new. F I'm going to work on the next few days on the Phantom site so we can get that launched. Um, so I'm anxious to get it launched for you guys because I get lots of ideas and um, new things coming about. It'd be nice to blog it all. Okay, so we do now. Okay, successful power cycle. So again. It's flashing red now at me, so obviously it's telling me that that firmware is applied. So push once, push twice, and hold. Just powering off. All lights are off, no lights on. Good. And then we do push once, push twice, and she's booting up. Oh, didn't get that right. Try again. Ah, cool. Didn't press it quick enough. Yeah, getting red, green, orange. Ah, go back. Cameras. Oh, cameras moved now. 
and it's moved into an up position and then reset it down. That looks good. So latest version apply for that and then, then we've got the, the new the, this one to apply now. Zen Zen E U M. So I assume that's the gimbal bit. The battery gimbal. Here we go. So apply that. Checking firmware update, please. Wait. Support new remote. Oh, so this is the support for the new remote. So you need to apply these updates before you can get the new um, remote controller, which is good. So upgrade. Yes, re upgrade. Do not power. Yep, normal. Here we go. So plan update. We've got flashing sort of orangey lights now. So it looks like each feature upgrades. It indicates different colours on the Phantom. That's not bad. Yeah, so we'll get the website, we can get all these features on there. I'll do tutorials and updates and upgrades and things like that. So, and again, for you guys, if you've got videos you're doing of flights, um, crashes, um, any bad experiences, uh, videos that is on your own channels, we can link all the videos on my um, uh, Phantom site for you if you're happy to, to release it that way. Then we can all have fun, see what we're all getting up to and stuff. And I've got some some crazy YouTube channels I've seen of all the phantoms that people are doing, especially the really extreme upgrade stuff. Um, you know, really sort of pushing how far they can fly this on on the wireless, boosting the signal, all that sort of stuff. So I can add all those onto the site too. And if you guys got any uh, um, online shops you buy from or purchase from, um, then we can add all those on there, so we we, we can look around what who's selling what phantom parts and where, and compare pricing as well. Here we go, update. So we do a power cycle. Click on that. So press once, press twice, and hold. It's powered off. All off now. Press once, press twice, and hold. I've done it, done it too quick. There you go. Red light on. Going to green. Okay. There you go. So all the latest versions. So here now, all the current version: 3.08, 1.0.27. 2.6.00, 1.0008, brilliant. So that's all done. That's the that's the actual main controller. So on here, have a quick view overview. Because I don't really play about with any of these settings here because I very very much find the basic settings out of the box seems to work quite well for me. But you guys might have different experiences and that you may play about with this. But I find this very much um, all I need. <coughs> so I'm happy um, as is. So let's have a look on here. I'm, Quad rotor X type basics. So, see, the, this takes, as you say, I'm doing a, like a um, an actual build um, on the, the um, DJI. So, the, this module here is the same one you can buy for other quads because this one's upgradable for not just for the quads, it's also for hex quads as well. It's quite quite nice uh, fl flight gear they got. But I'll be using the red one, which is uh, the, the next version for this one. Okay, RC controllers, here we go. Flight normal, flight safe. So you've got lots of, you've got lots of new buttons here. You can turn them and change. Um, calibration, there you go, yeah, it's all working. Uh, check that down, yeah, they're all normal. Game control, pitches, advance. Again, all this sort of stuff I don't really sort of play with because it, it's it's good as um, out of the box as, as, as I want it to be. I think if I mess about too much, I don't want it to sort of like end up crashing on us and, and not coming back. So, gim uh, gimbal. Oh, this is all new. I don't remember being the gimbal in this before. FPV mode. So you can fall I know you can do that through the software now and stuff. But here, yeah, this is good. You can get the gimbal to change tilt. So if we move, what if we move this about? Tilt control gain. No, it doesn't actually make it move live, so will that apply? But again, we'll I'll have to cover these features in a more in depth and play about. This is the um, flight maximum flight height is 500 meters, uh, 1,000, 1,500 meters radius. I don't think the yeah, the CAA rules are actually this, so you might want to change that to match the the CAA rules. Um, but this might be because I'm actually this feet, yeah. This might be because on I find on the back of my Phantom controller has a, a two, has an um, a EC and something else that allows you to change your radio uh, distance on your radio. It's a little switch when you flick over. I found the UK one; it got up to a certain height. I think it was going way below 400 feet, and it, it kept 
dropping out all the time, kept losing, so I kept returning back. Then I flicked the little dial on the back of the controller. You have to use a sort of long screwdriver for it, and it put it into. I think it was. I think it was set to E C C or E something. Um, twisted around to, which gave me a, a much more a longer um, distance, um, and I never then it didn't actually drop out, so it's quite a good feature. So tools reset no upgrade info okay. And I'm happy with that. So that's that. Um, what I'm going to now do is I'm just going to take the USB out of the Phantom itself and put it in the bottom of the controller that I've got as well to see if there's any updates required for that. And then that's the remote, the other app we need to load up. Info, latest version 1.22. Yeah, that is, it's, it's all good. So this is the remote controller um, part. Here we can there's, there's test all the calibrations, the mode sticks. Ah, this is this is this is it. This is the. This is what it's set to. I think when you get it out of the box. And I flicked it over to because it shows on the back now um, how to change change it over. Okay, so I had it on the FCC, which is out of the box. Um, so I found that the, sig the radio signal was quite weak and it kept dropping out. Then I changed it over to that, the CE, which gave me a much more longer distance, and I don't seem to have any dropouts on the radio. So if you're having dropouts when you're going up in the air and you're still quite close, not even more than 100 feet or more, then try changing that feature on your controller and you'll probably find it improves your signal and you don't get the dropouts. <clears throat> That's what I found anyway, but everyone's different. I have a different, you know, might be just my controller being funny or something like that, but there you go. So that's it. So that's the upgrades on this. So um, hopefully you enjoyed that anyway. So please do comment below. So any questions and answers, um, we can go into the software a bit more at a later date on uh, checking it. Because I might look look at fine tuning my flight and altitude and uh, especially the return home feature. Because uh, I don't like the idea of changing every two seconds. It would be nice if, we, if the software allowed me to control that. So I'll do some tests. I'll wait for I've got a bit better, better weather and we'll, we'll go over this software. Do we do some uh, checks and some live flights and see how the performance works well have fun anyway remember please comment please subscribe if you want to get in to win that hexcopter that i'm building as well um subscribe anyway because then you can see all my updates and i'm gonna try and get my hands on a lot of new stuff new toys and gadgets we can use again i'm buying the controller and on, on the new motors so we'll do a tutorial on, on adding that on so it actually makes any more improvements to what it is uh, as it's now so until then right have fun and see you in the next one